All right. So if you were here with us on Tuesday, we did a pre-assessment about theme, uh, which most of you, I think, in here finished, and everyone did a, a pretty good job. Uh, if you weren't here, you can check that out on the YouTube uh, channel, and I'll go over real quick how to find it as well in a sec. Um, most of us did a good job with that. Um, so the one we're going to do today is about uh, selection of evidence. So before we um, dive into it, I will put a question in the chat to get our brains uh, thinking about this stuff, which is, why is it uh, important to know how to uh, Let me see the best way to word this. Okay, I just put a question in the chat. I'd like us all to think about to get us started. Uh, while you're thinking about this, if you haven't already, you can um, log on to Summit and find our class. But why is it important to know how to properly select evidence? And how can this help you when you're making an argument? So think about that for a minute or two and put your thoughts in the chat. Okay. When we talk about selection of evidence, all right? I don't wanna get into too much what we mean because I don't wanna give anything away for the, the pre-assessment, but uh, you know, why is it important to know how to do that uh, correctly? Those of you who think you have a, a good idea of what I mean, um, why is it important to know how to, you know, select the correct evidence or how to select evidence properly? And if you know how to do that, how can that help you when you make an argument? Does having proper evidence not matter when you make an argument? Is it something that is super important when you make an argument? What do you think? All right, I'll give everybody another few minutes here because I know some of us might be typing. So I'll give you a few minutes to jot that down and put it in the chat. What do we think? Let's see if I can get, I'd like to get at least one response in the chat here for this. Why do you think it's important to know how to select evidence properly? And how can doing that help you uh, when you're making an argument? What do you think? Let's see if we can get at least one brave soul to put their thoughts either in the chat or if you can come off mute as well. What do we think? Oh, excuse me. In other words, when we're making an argument, can we just select whatever evidence we want, or do we? Does it have to be? Specific because Kier says because otherwise it's lies if it's not fully true exactly all right if you're making an argument and you're not selecting the right kind of evidence then your argument is not credible all right and we saw this probably in the biggest example maybe ever in history with this past election right there were a lot of claims about the election was this or the election was that or people are doing this people are doing that but if they're not backed up by factual evidence then you know they're not valid they're not Reliable. So that's why it's important to know when you're making an argument how to select evidence, the right evidence to select, um, because like Kira said, they can help, you know, bolster, which means, you know, 
improve our arguments uh, by providing facts um, to them because otherwise it is not true. All right, really good job, Kira. Thank you. Any other thoughts on this? Why it's important to know how to select evidence, how they can help us when they make an argument. Ms. Kelsey, do you have anything to add? Well, I think of, I mean, we can, maybe we're thinking of like an argument that you would put in a paper or if you're doing like an assignment, but I think this actually applies to life. And I think of my brother, because we debate a lot. I wouldn't say we fight, but we debate a lot. And um, so obviously I want to win all of those debates. And it's important for me to like be able to choose. It's sort of like important for me to know him and know what information is going to best convince him of my point, because obviously I'm right, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, and obviously he's trying to do the same thing. And if we both do that effectively, then we can sort of meet somewhere in the middle, um, which I think is good too. So, yeah, I think even though we think of this in a school context, really it's important to be able to do that, um, you know, for, for our life. And because sometimes you're talking about really important things and um, you really want to be able to bring someone over to your side because it can be like a very important issue, you know, maybe like a social justice issue or something that feels really important, especially when like the elections come around. You might want to, you know, feel like you want to be able to convince someone of your, the importance of your point. Yeah, I agree. I think this is a, a one of those things where you can take it from you, know, you can take it out of the context of just doing it for this checkpoint or for this assignment or when you're writing a paper and, and use it you know, when you're having discussions and discourses and you know, sometimes debates um, with people in real life as well about, you know, about any subject. It doesn't just have to be these serious, heavy political or ethical topics, you know, like, um, but uh, yeah, that's a really good point. So with that being said, let's uh, test our knowledge of doing that very thing. So what I want you all to do, if you haven't already, is please log on to Summit, all right? And find, ooh, wait, let me get that pulled up before I share my screen here. Ooh, boop, all right? Log on to Summit and find our class. So let me share my screen here. When you log on, you should see this page, announcements, blah, 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 because I'm on my student view. And then go over to your year view, find our class. You want English one right here, fact or fiction. Okay. There it goes. All right. And then click on checkpoint one like this, but do not click on the actual checkpoint. I want you to scroll down until you see the last link here it says selection of evidence pre-assessment and then when you click that it should look sorry one sec it should look like this okay and i'll put that in the chat as well so you know all right Selection of evidence pre-assessment, all right? This is what you should be seeing. And uh, one more time, how to get there. You're on Summit, all right? Year view, find our class, all right? English one, fact or fiction, checkpoint one, scroll down, and then it should be the last one right here. Selection of evidence pre-assessment. And it looks like this. When you are there, please let me know in the chat. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me that you got it. Uh, so I know that everybody is uh, on the same page. Yeah, everybody got another minute to pull that up.
Thank you, Jai Quill. All right. Give me like another 30 seconds. All right, we got three more uh, people in here waiting for them to tell me they've got that pulled up. Again, selection of evidence pre-assessment. Let me know when you got it. All right. If you have that pulled up, you can go ahead and get started on that. So you're answering those first couple questions. And then in that last question, they're giving you a theme, right? Uh, that good, you know, that good triumphs over evil when it's when in, in when, whenever it's a battle for both, right? Good always wins, and so you're looking at that theme, and then you're selecting from those three choices. Okay, which of these three choices would be the best evidence to select if I was trying to defend my stance that this is the theme that good always wins when it's good versus evil? Which of those best helps? provide evidence for that theme, helps prove that that point. That's what you're doing in the last question. You're selecting the one you think is the best. You can highlight it. Um, you can uh, type the answer below it, whatever you want to do, All right? And again, just like the last one, you won't be able to submit it because it's not a checkpoint. So when you're done, just let me know. And I'll also be um, checking in on people's summits uh, periodically to see uh, how we're doing with this. But uh, Gia, Kira, and Amir, let me know if you guys have that pulled up, uh, if you're having trouble finding it uh, or anything like that, since I haven't heard from you in the chat yet. And uh, once you get that pulled up, you can go ahead and get started on that. Shouldn't take you super long, right? Uh, if you are stumped on some of it, just take your best guess. And then, uh, thank you, Amir. Then we uh, will check back in in about uh, 10, 15 minutes or so, all right? Thank you guys. If you have questions, just put them in the chat or give me a shout.
All right, how are we doing with this? Questions on anything? Are we getting it done? Like I said, I'm gonna start jumping into people's summits just to check on progress. If you're still working on this, keep up the good work. Uh, I'll give everybody about another maybe like five minutes and then I'll see kind of where we are if we need some more time or anything like that. But questions? on anything, on what we're doing, anybody still having trouble finding it, anything like that. All right, cool, good job, keep it up. Also, Gianna and Kira, I might be, my eyes might be playing tricks on me, but I'm not seeing you on my student list here on Summit, which tells me you still haven't registered for this class. So I'm going to uh, put the Summit code in the chat again. So that, <clears throat> excuse me. So that if you're still uh, not registered, you can go ahead and do that now. Because you won't be able to do this unless you are registered for the class. All right. So there is the summit code. So if you're still not um, registered on summit for this class English one, please, please make sure you put that in right now and let me know when you do so I can assign you. Okay. And like I said, I think the only ones out of everybody here are Gia and uh, Kira that I still don't see on there. All right. Tyquil Amir, good job. Keep up uh, the work. You guys are doing a good job with this. Keep it going.
Never mind, Kira. I see you on my list now. You were in a different. You were in a different spot. So you're good. So you can, if you're working on that pre-assessment, you can keep doing what you're doing. Uh, but Gia, I definitely still uh, don't see you on here. So make sure you register with that code. My apologies, Kira. Uh, Amir, I just read yours. Good job. Make sure you finish that last part. Um, Tyquil, keep going on yours as well. Uh, good job today. We'll check back in here in about another five minutes and wrap everything up. All right. Nice low-key Friday today. And then don't forget about our assembly at 11.30, my friends. Thank you. All right. And just again, real quick, for those of us who I still don't see any work done on these pre-assessments, just another quick reminder on where to find it. If you're stumped on that, you're finding our class, checkpoint one, or English one, fact or fiction is the project. And then you should have checkpoint one right here. Click on that and then scroll down. And the last link you see, you see should say, selection of evidence pre-assessment. And then when you click on that link, it should bring you to a page that looks like this, okay? That's what we're working from today. And then if you were out on Tuesday, you also wanna do the theme pre-assessment one. And I'm gonna put all that on the announcement page later today so you know um, what to do over the weekend, okay? But just another little quick uh, refresher there if you were still stumped on where to go, okay? All right, well, let's take about three more minutes with this. We'll try and uh, wrap up everything after that. Uh, hopefully, I can see some of these get finished today before you leave. Uh, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, but good job. Keep it up. Thank you.
All right, y'all. So just wrapping up here, I'm going to take one more pass through everybody's summits um, and check on their progress with this pre-assessment. Again, make sure you're doing both the selection of evidence one and um, and the theme one, if you were not here Tuesday. All right, really good job, really good job, Amir. Thank you. All right, y'all, so only one that I see finished all the way is Amir. So really good job, Amir. Shouts out to you. Um, the rest of us, make sure we get both of these finished. I'll put them in the chat as well if you want to screenshot so you know what to do. The theme, uh, pre-assessment, and selection of evidence. assessment and these are both under checkpoint one on summit okay make sure you're working on those and uh getting that stuff up to date all right yeah amir you are good um i assume i won't see you in the assembly since you got to get ready for work but thank you stay safe brother have a good weekend all right the rest of us are there any questions about um anything we're doing, all right? Why don't we wrap up here with everybody? Uh, yeah, cool, please do Amir, thank you. Let's wrap up here with everybody. I'd like you to give me a one to five um, of your understanding with um, what we have to do for these uh, pre-assessments, right? Where to find them, how to, what you're supposed to do with them and stuff like that, all right? Now I know maybe some of us aren't on our computers right now or stuff like that, so. Um, it's not a huge, you know, and it's not a huge deal that, you know, I don't see everybody getting them finished now, but I want to make sure everybody knows what to do so that they can be done for next class on Tuesday so we can jump into the checkpoints. So those of us who are still here, Gia, Tyquil, Kira, uh, go ahead and give me a one to five in the chat um, of your understanding with what to do for these um, pre-assessment assignments on Summit. And then once I see your one to five in the chat, you guys are um, good to go for this morning. If I don't see one to five in the chat coming in, then I'm gonna assume maybe you guys have stepped away and then uh, maybe we'll just have to go ahead and wrap up here. But uh, I'd like to hear from each of you before we go. So again, if you understand what's going on with those pre-assessments, you know where to find them, you know what to do, then put a five in the chat. If you um, are pretty sure, but you might have a question or two, put a three. If you are like, I'm lost, I don't know what's going on, I haven't really been tuned in, then maybe put a one or a two, okay? But put that response in the chat before we go, please, so I know kind of where everybody stands.
Anyone out there who can put a one to five in the chat for this? I'm going to give everybody about another minute to respond. And then if not, I'm going to just go ahead and end the chat for today. All right, y'all, haven't heard from anybody in a sec, so uh, I'm just go ahead and end the chat for today. If you are still listening out there, remember to get um, those two pre-assessments done. I'm going to put it on the summit announcements, and it'll be up on the YouTube page later today. I'll be in the Summit Lab this afternoon if you have questions, and I hope to see you all at the afternoon assembly in about 10 minutes as well, okay? Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Have a good weekend.